When they sensed the timing was right, they found a way to open the door that was closed and blocked, filed silently to the path that they have chosen to follow, and quickly left the place that they were held. They also followed the sure guidance of the stars as they journeyed through the night, traveling toward safety. The hostages were sensing God nudging them to an attempt and escape. After discussing their plans, the group felt they should escape on the night of Wednesday, December 15. They made plans as they could, but ultimately placed their situation in God's hands, depending on Him for protection and guidance. When they sensed the timing was right, they found a way to open the door that was closed and blocked, filed silently to the path that they have chosen to follow, and quickly left the place that they were held, despite the fact that numerous guards were close by. In the distance, they could see a mountain feature that they had recognized and they had identified in the previous days. They identified this landmark before, and they knew that they, this is the direction that they needed to go. They also followed the sure guidance of the stars as they journeyed through the night, traveling toward safety. With God's help, protection, and leading, they quickly made their way through the night. They walked for possibly as much as 10 miles. It's a little bit hard to discern exactly how far the distance was, but for many miles, traveling through woods and thickets, working through thorns and briars. One of the hostages said, and I quote, two hours were through fierce brambles. We were in gang territory the whole hike. Day began to dawn and they eventually found someone who helped them make a phone call for help. They were finally free. Later that day, all of them flew on a Coast Guard flight to Florida. And then they were later reunited with uh, all the, uh, the other hostages that had been, uh, had been released prior. A message to the kidnappers. You cost their hostages and their families a lot of suffering. However, Jesus taught us by word and by his own example that the power of forgiving love is stronger than the hate of violent force. As Jesus himself was being crucified on the cross, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 34. As his children, we cannot otherwise but extend forgiveness to you, talking to the kidnappers again. We know that our hostages told you very clearly how you can also be forgiven by God if you repent. Our sincere desire is that you, the kidnappers, and all who hear or read this statement may come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Jesus died for everyone so that everyone has the opportunity to be saved. 